the main calculations are down the right hand side like many calculators and we're going to use enter rather than an equals button to get our answers notice that we to do subtraction we're going to use the takeaway button here not the negative button here there's a subtle difference to show you that subtle difference if we had say negative three take away six we can see the difference in those two and how they'll then give us our answer as well multiplication and division works the same but we may with division uh, want to do that as a fraction and we may want to get that answer as a fraction to convert that to a fraction we can press the math button and it will convert it to a fraction for us and now we can see it like that but we can also enter fractions do you notice that on the newer calculators, we actually have uh, this emblem here in green. Uh, it, it still works on the older calculators even without this emblem. So you just press alpha and then the X button. It will give us the fraction uh, set up straight away. So let's type in a different fraction. And then we use the arrow to get down to a different place. And there we can see that it will give it set as a, a fraction again, a simplified fraction in this case. Again, we could convert that to a decimal this time if we wanted to. Um, and then we could keep um, converting back. I can actually arrow up and copy the previous one that I did here um, and it will convert it back to a fraction for me. The other way to access fractions is in the um, F1 function up the top here. Uh, again, we've got um, both um, top heavy fractions or we've got mixed fractions. And again, we could convert numbers into here using the cursor key as we go along. And it either gives it us as a top heavy fraction and we can also then go into alpha f1 again and convert that between fractions and decimals and between top heavy and mixed fractions so in this case if i go this way you can see that it'll take it back to this again so that's how we can do fractions the square button is just here uh, diagonally from the seven so we can go say six squared and get this answer here we can actually go up and copy it and change uh, the power if we want to and get a different answer but uh, to, to do that another way we would go six and then the power button is over here hat like on a computer and we get the same answer and and equally the reverse of the square squared um, is its inverse or a second function so if we took uh, square root of 36 then we would go back to six be mindful that's okay if we were doing um, say Peter, you're going to have to cut that a little bit out of the video. I'll just continue now. We also know that square root is to the power of a half, so we could also go to the power of and even use a nice little fraction key and actually type it in like this. Just showing you different options on, on how to do it. Obviously, notice that we know that uh, negative 3 squared should be 9, but it depends whether you do it without brackets or whether we actually put negative 3 inside the brackets on whether the calculator understands that it's negative three to the power of two or just three to the power of two with a negative in front. Another way that you could actually do that is by pressing using the answer button um, and various other options away from that. And using the answer button can be used in many ways uh, to repeat uh, functions happening. For example, if we then times that answer by two, then we can see that we're going up by the storage of um, phones and iPads and the like and how they actually increase by multiplying by two. So thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful.